What's up guys, Rural Camacho here. So this is part three of our three part mage series. Kind of a tongue twister there, not really, but first part we went over talents and glyphs. Second, we went over stat priority and what to reforge. And this one we're gonna be going over gems and enchants. So if you haven't looked at those other two videos and you need to know something about those, I'll put an annotation here so you can go ahead and refer back to those and uh, you know get your get your info there. All right, well, let's go ahead and start this one. We're going to go over gems and enchants. So as we went over with the stat priority, PvP power is going to be your number one stat at this current point of time, patch 5.0.5. .5. But you also have to take into account some of your socket bonuses because your socket bonus will also give you some extra stats, you know, like even that the gym would give you. So as you can see right here from the head enchant, the socket bonus gives me 180 PvP power and uh, a regular PvP power gym gives you 320 but with me socketing for the socket bonus having that 160 PvP power from the regular gym and 180 from the socket bonus I get 340 PvP power as opposed to just a regular 320 so I'm getting some extra intellect and also extra 20 PvP power just from that socket bonus so you definitely want to look at those and make sure there's not some that are really important that you could take up for my shoulder enchant, I picked up that extra 60 intellect. That's quite a bit of intellect, and I just wanted a little bit more mastery also. So I went 160 PvP power with 160 mastery and also picking up that extra intellect. All of my gems that I gem are going to have some sort of PvP power on them, but they will also, some of them are mixed between uh, PvP power and mastery because mastery is also pretty important. But because uh, I don't want no mastery, I don't, and I, but I don't want to just. I did jam all PvP power at one point and I didn't really like it so I kinda wanted to you know half and half some of it so that's why I'm doing that and I also wanted to get that 60 intellect so as you can see from my chest I didn't really care about that 120 PvP resilience so I just went with PvP power and also a little bit more mastery with more PvP power for my bracers I uh, well they don't have a, a gym uh, slot so I didn't gym anything <laughs> okay for my hands I just went straight up PvP power to get that extra 60 intellect. Couldn't go wrong with a bunch of PvP power and also getting that socket bonus. For my belt, just went double PvP power. I got that socket bonus with that uh, belt buckle also. So, you know, a bunch of PvP power there. And uh, I believe the PvP power uh, gems are called Stormy River Heart or something like that. Just look in your auction house for blue. They're pretty cheap too, so it, it's definitely a good thing. So take, actually I think I have some in my bag really quick, let's look, yeah right here, they're called Stormy River Hearts, so just look those up in your auction house and uh, you know they're really cheap on my servers so you can't go wrong with that. For my boots, I wanted a little bit more mastery and I just picked up that socket bonus for the hell of it and got a uh, hundred, uh, regular, I mean more 60% resilience while getting some more PvP power and also that 160 mastery. So a majority of your gems should have PvP power on them if you're doing PvP. If you're looking at this guide and you're doing PvE, do not listen to anything because PvP power is absolutely useless in PvE. If you want to know why, refer back to my stat priority and I'll let you know why that is. Okay, so uh, that pretty much covers what gems you want to use. So just know PvP power is going to be most important look at your socket bonuses also see if you can get anything on there see if there's any beneficial ones I'm actually gonna change up some of my gems too to get some more uh, socket bonuses but I'm absolutely broke right now as you all saw I have 165 it's not very easy coming to a different server and not having a a class with a gathering skill on it so uh, I'm still working on that and also like the enchants I'm gonna go over right now some of them aren't all up to date but mo majority of the ones that I have are correct all right, for my there's no head enchant at this current point in time, so I have nothing. Just make sure you get that 116 intellect with three critical strike meta gem. Uh, that's a crap load up from like with the older ones, so you can't go wrong with that. For your shoulder, you want to go with that 200 intellect, 100 critical strike. It's called the Greater Crane. Let me look it up really quick. It's called the Greater Crane Wing Inscription. You can find that on the auction house. It's not too too much, but it's not. A, in, inexpensive uh, it's an epic enchant uh, but there's usually a bunch of them so you can find them for a pretty reasonable price for your back you want to go with superior intellect uh, so you can get that 180 intellect since you're not gemming a lot of int you know you want to go ahead and capitalize on that int and uh, that thing that's like the best thing you can do for your back also 
for your chest, you want to go with superior resilience just so you can get a little bit more resilience and hopefully stop some of those PvP power gemmers like you're going to be doing now that you've watched this guide. Alright, well let's go ahead and go to the bracers. Bracers, I went with more mastery, but you can also go with super intellect. I just like mastery because it, you know, does more damage to frozen targets, but it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. And, uh, you know, I think the uh, super intellect for your bracers was really expensive on my server, too, is why I went with the mastery. So, uh, right now, I, I have the mastery, but I might change that later on. But it was just so much money, and I'm really broke right now. So, I just, you know, mastery is fine for me. All right, for your gloves, you want to go with superior mastery. Gives you another 170 mastery. Can't go wrong with that. Mastery does more damage, like I said, to frozen targets, so that's that. Belt buckle, no enchant, but you want to go with the uh, the belt buckle, the living steel belt buckle. They're pretty expensive, uh, but you know it gives you that extra bonus slot where you can stack some more PvP power and uh, rape some people. All right, for your leggings, you want to go with the spell thread. It gives you 125 intellect with 165 critical strike. For your boots, you want to go with the Pandaren Step. It gives you minor speed increase and also a little bit of mastery on there. So you can uh, get away from people that have this. Because if they have this enchant and you don't, they're going to be catching up to you. And it's going to be really annoying. Because as a mage, you want to get away from people. Alright, well that pretty much covers the gymming and the enchant portion of this video. I hope this helped you all out, guys. If it didn't, uh, leave me a comment and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I helped you out.